Hello everybody and welcome inside the River Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This is the 2012 USBC Open Championships kickoff special live on Bowl TV. I'm Matt Lawson, be here with you for the next hour or so and we're going to give you your first look at this beautiful facility and of course your first look at the oil pattern that you'll be bowling on in the 2012 USBC Open Championships. Tournament begins tomorrow, goes for 151 days. It is the largest participatory sporting event in the world when it's all said and done. Over 60,000 bowlers will have graced the lanes here behind me in Baton Rouge. Coming up here on the kickoff special, we are going to learn how the oil pattern was made. We'll get some tips on how you can have success when you come out here to, to bowl your games and tell you about some great opportunities to enhance your experience when you come out here, including some time on the lanes with USBC Silver Level coach Bill Hall. He'll be joining us in just a few minutes. You are watching us on YouTube.com. We hope that you'll take the time to subscribe to our channel. It is youtube.com slash bowl TV. Again, youtube.com slash bowl TV. We hope you're also following us, USBC, on Twitter, also on Facebook. This is your chance also to make some comments and ask some questions. We are manning our social media today, and we will uh, hopefully get to some of your questions and comments coming up a little bit later on in the show. The USBC tournaments team, as you're about to see, has really outdone themselves this year with an amazing new venue. We want to take you on your first tour now, a look at what we've done inside River Center. Welcome to the Baton Rouge River Center. Inside this building, USBC has transformed 125,000 square feet into a state-of-the-art bowling facility and exhibit space. From the moment you walk in the doors, you're met with the great history of this event. From there, it's over to registration and on into the squad room. Let's walk down center aisle and take a look at this amazing bowling center. Before it's all over, bowlers here will have knocked down 100 million pins. But there are four more lanes upstairs, the showcase lanes, specially designated for coaching and practice. And be sure to stop by the Pelican Room right across from the showcase lanes for a beverage. Across from registration, there's the usual assortment of specialty vendors. And if your cell phone is in need of a charge, the folks at Nationwide have you covered. The USBC Sports Store is back and better than ever. A whole new line of tournament attire sure to have something for everyone. And when you head back to the main level, you'll be in the heart of all of the ball booths. We'll take you inside to check those out in a few minutes. And be sure to visit Bowling Ball Express to ship your equipment home safely and hassle-free. The 2012 USBC Open Championships, a world-class venue for a world-class event. You might be wondering how the tournaments team comes up with the oil pattern that you'll be playing on here at the Open Championships, and we decided that we were going to go straight to the source. I had a conversation this week with USBC Managing Director of Tournaments, Brian Lewis. He's the guy who makes the decisions and gives the direction in that department. A lot of work goes into deciding what oil pattern will coat the lanes at the USBC Open Championships. Yeah! Yeah! In fact, that work began for this year as soon as the first ball was thrown last year. We're looking at scoring, scoring pace. Uh, we're looking at the angles the bowlers take to the pocket. We're looking at uh, pin carry. We're looking at uh, ability for the bowlers to get the ball to the pocket. Uh, our patterns are generally uh, within some certain parameters. There's only so much we can do. 
Uh, so we take the what we learned in 2011 and we try to translate that and make some changes into our 2012 pattern. Scores were high at the Open Championships last year, but that doesn't mean the tournament staff will be out to get you this time around. High scoring is fine, as long as the challenge remains. There's going to be some high scores. There's going to be some record scores. To me, that's a good thing about the tournament. On any given day, if the bowler gets lined up, has the right equipment, makes great shots, uh, we can assume some record scores. It is our championships tournament, so we're not going to put out a house condition. It's got to be a tournament-like condition. Our goal is not to embarrass anybody, but still, the pattern has to be set up such that it places a premium on shot making, accuracy, and uh, the ability to, once you hit the pocket, to score. This year's pattern will certainly have some differences, but the goal stays the same. A good competitive playing field where anyone can succeed if they do things the right way. We try to change up the pattern slightly each and every year to make it just a little bit different. Uh, so that will be our goals this year. But remember, you got to practice, you, you got to be uh, in good timing, and you got to uh, figure out how to make your spares. And, and that usually leads to good scores and a, a nice check at the end of the day. Okay, so once Brian Lewis lays out his plan, Eric Pearson is the guy who makes it happen. Eric, we know it's always a sport compliant pattern. What did you do, uh, your first steps in making this year's uh, pattern uh, through, through Brian's direction a little bit different than last year? Yeah, we always take the direction from Brian, also from uh, tournament manager here, uh, Dwayne Hagen, our lane maintenance manager, Craig Jensen. We all kind of get together and talk things over from last year, what we want to see different. And then we kind of hand it over to our friends at Kegel. Uh, we have a couple consultants there that work on the patterns, kind of give them the direction we want to go with. Uh, I myself kind of design my own pattern, and we get together, and I kind of compare notes and kind of word what direction do we want to go in. Uh, the nice part of what makes it different every year is just the venue itself. You know, we've been at the bowling stadium a couple years. Uh, the way those lanes are shaped, the way they play, definitely going to be different than here in the River Center, a new constructed venue. Uh, so the ball reaction is going to be different regardless. So uh, we start off just kind of on paper, get, get ideas down and, and, and see what we think is going to work on paper first. And then we have to get, actually get into the venue and then test it, lay it out, and see balls go down the lanes. Yeah, a little bit about the actual process. It's, uh, it's kind of fascinating. How do you take all of that information and actually develop the oil pattern? What goes into that? Well, first day we get here, uh, we unload everything, and the first thing we have to do is get all the machines matched up. We use five, uh, four different machines uh, to condition the tournament, so we spend a whole day getting those all to do the exact same thing and get them as close as we humanly can. Uh, and then we go to work watching ball reaction. Uh, we have some of our staff members throw a few balls. We want to just see the overall hook in the building, uh, just some uh, general tendencies of what the brand new lane is feeling like, and see if what we thought on paper is actually what's happening as the ball is rolling down the lane. Uh, from there, we then just make, start making adjustments and, and getting the ball reaction we want. Um, you know, here we made probably two or three adjustments during the course of the week. We had some uh, sweepers and some local bowlers come in and throw balls for us. Uh, we try to watch the multiple styles throw, and we just make necessary adjustments to try to get that end result from that direction we were given earlier, and uh, hope we get it as good as we can. Uh, Eric and I are also, uh, you might notice, wearing some of the Open Championships collection, the new uh, for this year from the USBC Sports Store. You can, of course, check that out when you come out here. The store is, uh, is here, and it's uh, bigger and better than ever, but also you can go online, usbcsportstore.com, and you can outfit yourself, outfit your team uh, before you even come up here. Eric, thank you. Uh, more in a few minutes, we will actually be revealing the pattern and talking a lot more. Uh, some of the X's and O's, you'll, you'll be able to fill us in a little Absolutely. on that. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, first, though, a unique opportunity to get more than ever out of your Open Championships experience. The VIP program debuts this year and has the potential to make this tournament the best one ever for you. Are you a VIP? Now for the first time, the USBC Open Championships can hook you up big time. Yes! What we tried to do with the VIP program was not only uh, give the VIP that extra boost in the experience that he's going to receive, but uh, he's going to sort of get thrown to the front of the line every time he comes up. Whether it's at registration, he'll be able to go immediately pie the registration lines to information where he'll be shuttled back to a VIP room 
uh, serve some beverages, give an individualized check-in experience. From there, he will have an opportunity to get a private sort of behind the scenes tour, if you will, into what goes into the uh, Open Championships uh, from build to uh, the, the scoreboards to some of the things that the regular bowlers never get to see. It doesn't end at check-in. Your VIP experience also gets you discounts at Bowling Ball Express and the USBC Sports Store. You get access to special VIP lockers, a photography package, tickets to attend TV shows at the Masters in Queens, a membership card, and a special VIP shirt, which you can wear on the showcase lanes where you'll enjoy a private lesson with USBC Silver Coach Bill Hall. It's a good idea because you get to practice on the oil pattern that you're going to be playing on. Not only that, you'll get a little bit of assistance on how to play that oil pattern with how to break it down, what to expect when it breaks down, and the equipment to use for your uh, particular style of play. Because each person is looking for a different thing, and so is each group. So we have a questionnaire that we're going to have them fill it out and customize it to their specific needs. That's one thing that I think is going to be crucial. It couldn't be easier to claim your VIP status. Go to bowl.com slash VIP to get started. The staff here in Baton Rouge is excited to get you going. You just can't wait to see the reactions on those guys' faces. I mean, that's what you really want to see. When the people come in here, everybody has a different sort of wow expression or uh, they've never done that before expression. And, and, and that's just big time payback to all of us that have been involved in the process. Some really great perks as a VIP, and you can learn a lot more about the program at bowl.com slash VIP. Go check it out. There's uh, just all sorts of things that you, that you gain out of that experience, and we hope that a lot of you will take advantage of it. Okay, you've been patient. I know that everybody is uh, eager to get their first look at the oil pattern. Eric Pearson back with us, and we welcome in USBC Silver Level coach Bill Hall. Bill is going to be out here throughout the entire run of the tournament. He's, uh, as you just saw, he's the coach for the VIPs. He's the coach for the showcase lanes, uh, so you'll be seeing a lot of Bill. Uh, Eric and Bill are going to break down what we see here, so let's uh, waste no more time and get to it and take a look at the 2012 USBC Open Championships oil pattern. Coming up right here, take a quick look, and uh, Eric, I, let's, let's start with you. Uh, tell us what we're actually looking at here, because for some of us, this is uh, a little bit like Mandarin Chinese. Yeah, a little, little confusing here. Uh, basically, when we uh, design patterns, we have some software that we use uh, that's designed by Kegel, uh, and this is basically their end result. We put numbers into this uh, software, and it spits out this uh, graphic for us. So basically, you are looking at an overhead graph, the blue shaded one, coming up here in a second. So basically, you're looking down at the lane, and you're seeing the different loads of oil and the shape of the oil pattern and then the different shades of blue are how the oil is getting buffed out. So it's basically just a visual of how the oil is piled up on the lane. Uh, when they look at the program sheets that will be posted on bowl.com, you'll actually see the numbers of what boards those touch. The other graphic we're looking at here is called a composite graph. And it is basically just a bar graph that shows you how much oil is stacked up on each board if you were to take all the oil and squish it together. Uh, very similar to when we take tapes and you see the side-to-side -side view uh, you can basically see the shape of the pattern here, and this also tells you the ratio of oil. And as you see on there, it's 2.2 to 1 on the edges. So the composite graph basically gives you a side-to-side -side view of how the oil is stacked up. And it's, I like to call this the old, uh, in the old days, the old ABC crown. So just a very nice blended pattern. Bill, your, your first thoughts as you take a look at this, uh, if, if you've got bowlers who are coming out here for the first time now that you've seen the pattern, uh, how would you sort of get them started? Well, the main thing that I would do is uh, recommend that they make sure that they control the launch angle. There's two different ones, the way that you land the ball onto the lane and the way that you shape the ball from the inside part of the lane to the outside. I think you're going to have to have good command of both of those. If you don't, the lanes are going to seem like they're reverse blocked, where people believe there's more oil on the outside than the inside. So if you have command of those, you'll actually read the pot pattern properly. If you don't, the pattern's going to come across a lot tougher than it actually is. Okay, we're going to send you guys over to uh, check out with some bowlers on the lanes and see some shots thrown on it. And we're going to come back uh, in a few minutes and we're going to talk a lot more about the oil pattern and, and actually see some shots thrown on it and let you guys uh, talk about what you're seeing while you're out there. Uh, so that's going to be great. First, though, we want to give you your first look at some of the ball booths that you'll be uh, seeing as you come in here. Some of the best in the industry are here in Baton Rouge. They'll be here the entire run of the tournament. And uh, there are various equipment booths for you to go check out. And we're going to talk to you about, uh, we're going to let you 
you take a look as, as they show you the proper places you can be. Let me start that over. <laughs> the ball booth reps are going to join us. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a tour through each specific ball booth, and they're going to tell you about how you can get some of the right equipment in your hands. Hi. My name's Robbie Heydrich. I'm here at the Brunswick Bowling Store wow, that was at a train the wreck. USBC tournament located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'd like to uh, introduce you to the uh, Nexus ball line that we have just uh, introduced this year. It's one of the strongest balls out on the market. Very good for the uh, oil pattern here at the uh, bowling tournament. Bowlers would love to throw it out here. I think you'll have a great ball reaction with it. If you want to see the reaction online, you can visit us at bowlwithbrunswick.com. I'd also like to introduce our newest line of bowling ball, the DV8 series. This is a very strong ball. It is strong. This is the uh, Hellraiser Revenge. It is four to five boards stronger than the original Hellraiser. You can see this ball online at damngoodbowling.com. We have a complete line of bowling balls from entry level with the slingshots to the mid-level DV8 line misfits and avalanches, karmas. We also have the advanced level, the lethal revolver, the C systems 4.5. We also have for bowlers who like the visiballs and novelty balls, we have Sopranos, we even have Scooby-Doo, Steelers, Buffalo Bills, Giants, and of course the Pittsburgh Steelers, Visiballs. Very fun ball to bowl with. We have a complete line of bowling bags from one ball rollers, we have two ball rollers, three ball flash, and of course we have the new DV8 line of bag. Very nice looking bag, goes very well with the uh, new DV8 line Brunswick introduced. We also have four ball rollers. All of these bags have a five year warranty. We have a full service center available for all the bowlers at the tournament. We have rejuvenators to get the oil out of the bowling balls. After about 60 games, every ball needs to be rejuvenated. Just like you see when you leave the, leave the ball in the car, it sweats, this is what this machine does. We also have a Cook Sphere machine which can resurface the ball. No hand resurfacing, this is all done by the machine. No imperfections during the resurfacing process. Also, we are running a 30% special on all service work during the tournament. So, you can come and visit the Brunswick Bowling Store between the hours of 8 a.m and 9 p.m. seven days a week. And if you love bowling, you'll love this store. Hi, welcome to the Habit Booth. My name is Bob Brust. I'd like to point out some of the products that we have off today. Our Taboo product line here. These are our international ball releases. We only seen here at the Hammer Booth. We're also a full line of Robbie's products. Shoe covers, gloves, wristbands, knee, Gloves for the ladies today. I'd like to also come over, point out some of our shirts. We have a full line of apparel for that area. We also have our hammer bags, our two ball rollers, our three ball rollers. I'd like you to come and visit us any day, nine to nine, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'd like you also to visit us at the hammer booth and also on Facebook to check up every day for all the happenings here in Baton Rouge. That'd be the Hammer Booth. I'd like to finish by pointing out our new Jet Black Taboo. Grand Theft 3 Reactive, standard at 2000, polished, to, up to date is our strongest back end reaction. I'd like to thank you for stopping here at the Hammer Booth. Come down and visit us. Good luck and good bowling. Hi there, my name's Frankie May. I've been here with uh, USBC now for the 16 years in a row, starting in 1996, representing Visionary Bowling products and also Lynn's Custom Shoes. Uh, Visionary has come out with two terrific bowling balls, and with the type of bowling that we have, 
on the condition. Every time they make a brand new ball, you're going to get what we call a solid cover, and then we're going to have a pearl cover. The reason for this is in your team event, if you've come in complaining for the last 16 years, my ball just don't hook, this is the type of cover you want to get, and you want to get one of the layouts that uh, we push here throughout the last 15, 16 years with the Frankie May Bowling Control Layouts. It's called a control layout. The pin is below the finger. CG is kicked out 35 degrees. Forces the ball into an automatic turn and then a forward roll motion. Because it's dull, it's going to grab the lane much quicker. Then in your pearl ball, and you bowl singles and doubles, instead of complaining that the lanes are hooking out of the building, you need a pearl ball with your pins up higher with an arc layout or a control, and if you're gonna move left, then you wanna stack the ball up so the ball makes a big turn. Our men, Willie Wells, a Bill Ziegler, and myself, Frankie May, will be able to pick out that layout that's gonna make you have a great year here in Baton Rouge. This year in Baton Rouge, Linz has come out with real bombs. We call them the metallic type shoe. What we've done is, we toes and heels have your metallic thing. The, the, the big thing that your little more expensive shoe is, anywhere from $129.95 to $189, you are getting on the bottom of the shoes inserts that you're able to take out so that if you do have trouble on the lanes out here, maybe you don't at home, all you got to do is take different inserts out and those problems are over. You can also get them without the inserts in, so some people like them, some don't. But we have come out with the three shoes and we didn't forget the ladies, they're there also. And as you can see down the row, uh, you got a, quite an assortment anywhere from $29.95 all the way up to $149. And uh, we'll make sure that you get the right shoes that you can get out there and have a wonderful year. So stop in the Visionary Lens booth and we'll take care of you. Okay, and we'd like to take this opportunity now to introduce you to some faces that you should be pretty familiar with by the time this tournament is over in July. From our public relations team, Matt Canazaro, Emil Williams. These are the guys who are going to be bringing you the live streaming. They're also the ones who do local media thing. There's all sorts of things that you do. In fact, we can start with that. What, uh, what goes into this next five months for you? Well, it's really exciting, actually. This is uh, it's a bit of a homecoming for me. Uh, this is where it all started for me back in 2005 here at the River Center in Baton Rouge. So. Uh, Tournament number eight, a lot of excitement, uh, big scores hopefully coming up, a lot of live streaming, a lot of stories, a lot of excitement there on Bowl.com. So uh, who knows, every day's an adventure here, you never know what's going to happen. It seems like uh, it just gets better and better with the build in, the, in these convention centers. What, your thoughts of, of this venue as you get uh, ready to make this home for a while? It's definitely never looked better. Uh, the new scoreboards, the new venue, Greg Moore did a fantastic job here this year. Uh, everything looks awesome, Brock Kowalski designing everything. Um, you just walk in and the first thing you say is, wow, it's unbelievable uh, what we're walking into here at the River Center. Quick talk with Emil now. You'll need the microphone. Um, <laughs> yeah, Emil is a collegiate national champion. ITC's back in, give us a year? 2005. In 2005. Uh, so now that you've seen the pattern, what, uh, what are your first thoughts as a, as a guy who's going to bowl out here this year? Well, I think, uh, of course, you've got to manage your break points. Um, it looks like you start to bowl in the middle of part of the lane, it's going to hook. If you see that, don't panic, which is one of the big things that I see a lot of bowlers that have done in my first couple of years. Don't panic. Make sure everything is good. Pretend like uh, it's not a house shot. When you see the ball hook, try to move right, control the break point, make sure the pattern continues to stay blended. I think we'll see the, most of the teams continue to break down the pattern, try to break down uh, some part in the outside part of the lane. But unfortunately, uh, that's what we'll see. And I think the, the guys have done a great job as always. Uh, before I let you go, I mentioned that you two will be hosting all of our Bowl TV Live stuff uh, from here at the Open Championship. So what, what can the folks at home expect this year? Uh, some, some scheduling, some planning. Uh, what do you plan to be showing? Well, of course, we'll be uh, live streaming all of our defending champions, of course. And we've got, uh, got a couple of new faces, of course, in there as well. And uh, I think Matt will, can tell us about some other things as well. Absolutely. Thanks, Emil. Um, really, uh, we're looking at some of the top players, Team USA members, Hall of Famers, and uh, we're still kind of whittling down the list a little bit. Uh, we went out there looking for suggestions, who people would like to see. 
and uh, we'll have that list out very soon. Uh, definitely some familiar faces and some new ones, possibly the next Open Championships tie list. We'll see. Excellent. Should be a good five months, guys. Thanks for stopping in with us. Thank you. And uh, we've got our bowlers warming up. We are uh, just about to show you some uh, shots thrown out on the lanes. But first, part two with our ball booth reps as we go around all of the booths. Hi, I'm Kyle Wilkie with Devonite International Booth. I'm going to take you through a few of the things that we're going to be offering this year. Uh, we're going to start out with the apparel. Uh, we're going to have a lot of different brands uh, with the track, the Columbia, and the night shirts. Uh, these are going to be some of our styles. We're actually going to be specializing in some of our dye sublimation shirts, which are going to be right here, which we're going to have a lot of different colors, a lot of vibrant colors, very nice shirts. Also, we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna offer men's and ladies shirts with a couple different styles. We got the men's shirts and the ladies shirts below. <clears throat> and uh, we're also gonna be offering team specials for for the groups that would like to purchase four or more shirts. We're gonna have specialty prices on those. Most of all those you can combo any of the shirts together. The Trek 919C is going to be a very good option for you when you come out to Baton Rouge this year just because it's going to try to blend the front part of the lane for you and it also is going to give you the enough back end. Uh, because the lanes are pretty similar to last year in Reno, this is one of those type of bowling balls that are actually going to work very well for you. Now we're going to go over to the Columbia section, which the Omen from the Columbia section for a little bit heavier handed people, this ball is going to be really well because it's going to be a little bit weaker than the 919C, but it's also going to give you that, that control in the lane, which you actually really need. Now when we go over to the Ebonite, the Mission X is going to be that, that really strong ball that's going to help you really control, control the front part because it's strong and then see it kind of just nicely come in on the back end. So any of those options when you come out to Baton Rouge this year are going to be really good for you. Also this year we have an oil extraction process from the wave machine which is going to help you get the oil out of the ball, get it like brand new, and then we also are going to be doing everything else between accessories, getting grips changed, surface changes, and anything you would need. So just come and see us here at the Ebonite booth and hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Mark Anderson, uh, manager of the Storm Booth at the USBC Nationals here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're very excited this year about our, some of the products we have coming out and particularly for the tournament here. Uh, making a return this year will be the Virtual Gravity Nano, the number one selling high performance ball at the tournament last year. A newer addition will be the Nano Pearl, which we hope will help the uh, competitors out in the later uh, conditions as they start to dry out a little bit. And the release should be out very shortly will be the uh, Vivid. Uh, which will be a solid version, a little cleaner, and a little angular, more angular off the back. And the two that we have set up for the opening of the tournament will be the Modern Marvel and the Crossroad. Both of these uh, will, be, uh, will do great out here. Crossroad for the doubles and singles should be a great matchup, and the Modern Marvel should be uh, uh, great for the team when the Nano starts uh, hooking just a touch too soon. In road grip this year, the thing that is going to do great out there will be the Defiant, which will be another solid uh, reactive ball. It's going to be great during the team event. We're also excited about the uh, road grip bags that have been uh, selling great across the country. In addition to our storm bag line, the tournament uh, triples has been a, a hot seller across the country. And this year, we're also having the uh, 10, uh, $10 off coupon, excuse me, that we'll have for all the high performance balls in the storm and, and road grip line. One of the exciting uh, promotions we have going on this year is the Strike a Pose promotion in which uh, teams will stop in the booth, take a picture of all five guys in the same Storm shirt and uh, post it on Facebook and we'll be uh, putting together some prize packages for those, uh, for those lucky teams. Also this year our newer additions, I'm sorry, Dexter Shoes, the uh, hottest sh selling shoe in the bowling industry right now, the number one shoe. We've also had the addition of Master Products to our line. Uh, we're going to have tape, scissors, every accessory you could ever want or need in the bowling business. So from all of us here at the Storm Booth, Mike Procasino, Mark Young, and Mark Anderson, we're looking forward to seeing you here in Baton Rouge this year. Hi, I'm Cecil Scarborough with 900 Global, representing the 900 Global booth this year at the USBC National Tournament. I want to tell you about a couple of specials that we have during the tournament. First special is our train bowling ball. It's our new ball that we've designed. With the train, you're going to receive a free dye sublimated shirt with the purchase of this ball. Second, we're going to go with our new Black Eagle. This ball has a $5,000 prize fund this year. 
First place, the highest score bowled with the Eagle during the USBC tournament is going to be paid $2,500. Their next ball from AMF is a new ball, the Black Mamba. The Black Mamba is a high performance ball. Also with the Mamba, you're going to receive a free Black Mamba dye sublimated shirt. If you need a bag, we've got you covered from our three ball deluxe to the two ball deluxe, two ball deluxe shoulder bag, AMS two ball deluxe shoulder bag, the 900 Global basic two ball rollers, and also we have a single ball roller for the guys that are just starting. We also have the 3G shoes from high performance all the way to entry level. We've got every bowler style and need taken care of. Bowlers, come see us at the 900 Global booth at the USBC. We're going to do a free analysis of your equipment, check your surfaces, make sure you got the right things to go out there and attack the lanes the right way. Come see us at the 900 Global booth and let us take care of your, all of your bowling needs. Okay, we are back with Eric Pearson and Bill Hall behind us. We've got uh, bowlers on the lanes as you can see and we're going to talk a little bit about what they're doing and uh, how it's working out for them their first few shots uh, here in just a second we want to get a little more into the guts of the pattern though some of those numbers that we were seeing earlier uh, maybe you can help us decipher and tell us what they mean a little bit right yeah once we get uh, the pattern up on the website all the numbers will appear with that uh, overall we're bowling on a 39 foot pattern uh, we tried a couple different lengths and a lot of that comes into pin carry and overall ball reaction so we uh, decided to go with 39 feet Overall, the volume of oil this year is 25.2. Uh, definitely a little bit lower than last year when we were in at the stadium, actually the last two years. Uh, and overall, the ratio of oil is roughly 2 to 1. And down the lane, it's just slightly higher than 2 to 1, about 2.2 to 1. Where uh, last year, uh, we went with a 41-foot pattern. The volume was higher, 27 mils. And we had much more oil stacked up last year. The ratio is actually closer to 2.8 to 1 kind of getting up in those higher ranges closer to uh, being at that high level of sport bowling. This is much more on the flatter side and uh, should play uh, slightly more difficult than last year. So as you've seen now some shots being thrown, uh, what, what's your, uh, you know, your first glimpse? What are you seeing? Are you happy with what you're seeing? Yeah, one of our goals, and we kind of watch this during our weekly uh, sweepers when we bring in the bowlers, to look for multiple angles. We want to see different styles of bowler have good ball reaction. We want to see the straight players be able to play up the lane. Uh, we want to see bowlers with a little bit more hand if they want to play in a little bit and belly the ball. Uh, so that's really what we're shooting for and that's why we have these people here bowling. We have a couple different styles here so uh, Bill's going to kind of coach and do a little bit of talking here. I'll chirp in as well but uh, we just want to kind of watch some of the shot making here, see the different angles play and uh, there we go. see if Bill can help maybe get some of them lined up. Yeah, and here's Bill now. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what we're seeing. There are obviously several different t types of bowlers. We want to help the people at home who are watching this kind of match up what we're what they're seeing to their own game. So, as as some of these guys throw some shots, tell us what we're looking at. Okay. Well, right now, uh, earlier here, he's trying to get the ball around the lane too early. So we're trying to get it more up the lane, much more like that, so they can get more hold and more consistency to the pocket. Earlier, the ball was hanging or overreacting because he had too much angle too early. So we're trying to get that angle straightened out. Go ahead and shoot the spare. And a little bit about what type of bowler we're seeing here as well as some of these guys get going. Okay, here you've got more of a traditional style. Okay, so he's going to want to get a little more straight up the lane than most players. Uh, over here, we've got a lefty, but on the left side, I think they're going to be able to play it a little bit different than the right. But they're just going to have to make sure, just as the right-handers, they're going to have to control, have control over the launch angle both how they landed on the lane and the angle in which they land the ball on the lane as far as arc into the front. And here we got a player that likes to go pretty straight. So we're going to make sure that that player doesn't, t a straight player tends to overthrow. So we're trying to get her to get down the lane like that right there where it's a nice consistent speed instead of trying to fire it down the lane. What advice can you give as, as you come out here? We, we talked about this a little with the VIP story that we did earlier, but as, as you get your first look at, at them throwing a few shots, what, what are you doing? How are you working with them to, to get them lined up? The main thing is you're trying to get them, to, even though they're here to working out right now, you're trying to get them to work as a team. You're trying to get them to help each other out. If they line up properly and use the lane properly, they can actually develop the oil pattern to their advantage. And right now, trying to get them comfortable because this is a condition that they normally don't bowl on. So this is something you want to do, is get them to understand what they're supposed to feel now versus maybe on a house pattern that they bowl at home or in their local tournaments, which could be very different than what they're bowling on right here. 
and Eric is the guy who puts the pattern together. What what are you looking for? It must be an interesting experience for you to watch bowling on this for the first time. Yeah, I mean, our main goal is, you know, we have 60,000 people coming here to bowl, and we want to help try to create good ball reaction for all those bowlers that throw good shots. Uh, you know, one of the things we try to do is, is not only the, the ratio of oil side to side, but the amount of taper of oil, how much oil is in the front of the lane, meaning the heads, uh, as opposed to how much is down the lane. Uh, part of what we do with the oil pattern is to try to create uh, enough taper so that the bowling ball can actually slow down on its own, and that helps create good ball reaction for multiple styles. Yeah, that's always a you know, much straighter bowler, you know, going straight up the boards. Uh, very good shot right there. Uh, however, if she decides to leak that ball out a couple boards, you know, it's probably going to come up a little bit light, be a two pin, maybe a two eight ten. That's going to be. I say that's going to go a little high. Trip that's before. Nice got a little trip. Really direct style on that bowler. And obviously there's, you know, if the board decides he's got a little bit more hand and he needs to play a little deeper on the lane and swing the ball, you know, it's all about the bowler matching up. Yeah, but if you lay the ball down, the right ball in your hand for the right part of the lane. Get it out right now. So but we try to help that by creating the, the right amount of tail on, on, on the condition. Ball. So that's really what we're shooting right for right during our setup process. And Bill, why don't you let us in a little bit on, uh, on what conversation you're having here? Right now, uh, because he has a tendency to want to land, land the ball up and onto the lane, and this pattern is a fresh pattern right now, we're trying to get the ball more into the lane so it reads the front part of the lane properly. Right now, he's actually lined up properly on the pattern, but if he launches it up into the air, then when it hits the pattern, it's, it's changing the ball's characteristics and it's going to be very difficult to adjust to. Take us through one more bowler here. Okay. Okay, right now we've just had the discussion about getting the ball onto the lane. So let's see if he can get it down. That's a cleaner shot than what he had before, so it's going to react here. It was much better. I mean, you got a shot at it. You got you to increase your percentages. Never mind. All right, we have had a look now at some balls thrown on the lane. You've gotten your chance to look at the pattern. Of course, bowl.com, you can log on and get the pattern, download it for yourself, take a closer look, uh, learn what some of those uh, numbers are all about, and uh, get yourself ready to come out here to Baton Rouge. We want to thank everybody who uh, had questions and comments. And uh, if you were on our Facebook, we had one question that I'm hoping uh, Eric's going to be able to help us with. or. Might even be better for Coach Bill Hall, but for both of you, actually, the the one question we have uh, before we before we go here was from Corwin on Facebook. Uh, recommendations for first-time participants. So you obviously been out to this tournament several times, Eric. Uh, what would you recommend for somebody who's coming out for the first time? I'd say if you can find a local bowling center that can put out uh, not necessarily this particular pattern, but any type of a sport pattern. Try to stay in that medium uh, length range, 40 feet, 39 feet, similar to what we have here and just go out and throw balls on that. Try to get away from practicing on your typical house shot where the outside boards are dry and there's a big pile of oil in the middle. Uh, that'll get into what Bill was talking about, getting your launch angles better and getting your release a little bit cleaner and make you a, a lot sharper when you get out here. You can't come out here and spray the ball all over the lane. All right, and the same question, Bill, real quick. Sure. Just your, uh, the question we got from our, one of our Facebook uh, participants here is what would you have as your advice to somebody who's coming out here for the first time? For the first time, don't come out here with any preconceived ideas on how you want to play a lane. Come in, you got seats right here. Take a moment, watch the other players, and learn what they're doing. Because no matter what, no matter how many tournaments you've been to, you're going to be a little nervous when you're walking into this type of a venue. Go out there, sit a little bit, study the other players, learn from them, and get the right shape in your mind of what they're playing on the lanes and have the right image. Great. Get back to your guys. And of course, you can get your own coaching uh, lesson with Bill Hall. You can do that through our VIP program. He's also available with uh, the Showcase Lanes. All sorts of ways to come out here and improve your game. We want to take this time to thank everybody behind the scenes for all of their help here as the uh, 2012 USBC Open Championships kickoff special comes to a close. Thanks to those of you following us on Twitter and Facebook, USBC, and we hope that uh, on YouTube.com slash TV as well. We uh, would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. You'll be one of the first to know 
when a new video is posted, when a live streaming event is starting. It's a great way to keep uh, up with us here at USBC. So again, that is uh, youtube.com slash bowl TV. The 2012 USBC Open Championships have one other star we have to mention, and that is the city of Baton Rouge. With all of the legendary Cajun cuisine, great shopping and attractions, big time gaming and entertainment options, Baton Rouge is sure to be just the getaway you were hoping for. Check out all that this wonderful city has to offer at visitbatonrouge.com and get ready to bowl on the bayou. And don't forget, registration opens March 1st for the 2013 Open Championships in Reno. You won't want to miss this historic year as the Open and Women's Championships come to the same city for the very first time. Thanks to everyone here behind the scenes for all of their hard work and thanks to you for watching the 2012 USBC Open Championships kickoff special. We'll see you out on the lanes. Good luck and good bowling.